Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video is brought to you in collaboration with Selkirk University. And today, we're taking a little field trip to Seattle. Not only that, but today we have a new student. This is Jeff. Jeff is new to pickleball and today we're gonna to be teaching him the do's and don'ts when it comes to paddle care. Stick around, it's gonna be a long day. And speaking of long days, after a long session of pickleball, you're probably going to want to cool off. Hitting the beach or the lake is probably a good move. What's not a good move though, is going swimming with your paddle. Although a little bit of rain won't hurt your paddle, submerging it in water or any other liquids should be avoided. Many paddles feature a honeycomb core that could trap water inside your paddle, making it very difficult to use and probably making your hands slower than they already probably are. So after a long session of pickleball and a trip to the beach, you're probably a little hungry. But that doesn't mean you should use your paddle as a serving plate. Yum. Uh, Jeff? Luckily for you, cleaning your paddle is quite easy. Get some water and a lint-free cloth Yum. and gently scrub away any dirt or residue off the paddle face and edge guard. Avoid using household cleaners as they can leave behind a sticky residue. Now, if you have a raw carbon fiber face paddle, you know that it can accumulate debris from the pickleball very quickly. You can use a cleaning block or sand belt cleaner to clean off the face of your paddle by simply rubbing the cleaning block over the paddle face and then wiping off the debris. So after a long session of pickleball, hitting the beach, and all that work you put into cleaning your paddle, you probably want to reward yourself with a nice cold drink. Just remember to avoid leaving your paddle in extreme temperatures like your fridge. I think it goes without saying that you should probably avoid your oven, scorching hot car, a volcano, or your ex's cold, cold heart, but just thought I'd mention it. So after a long day of pickleball, hitting the beach, eating food, cleaning your paddle, having a drink, taking a nap, you may have forgotten everything we just went over when it comes to taking care of your paddle. But really just use common sense. We know, I know, you know that you probably love pickleball and that you most likely sleep with your paddle, but just remember that pickleball paddles are designed and meant for hitting pickleballs. They are not meant to be forcefully slammed into a wall, fence, or the ground for whatever reason. Consider adding edge guard tape to the edges of your paddles to protect them from scrapes and dings. And when not in use, just remember to store it in a safe place and make sure that it's not being put under anything heavy where it can be stepped on or trampled over as that may damage the paddle. And consider using a paddle cover for additional protection. All right, that's it for this video. Till next time, play better. I'm out.